Hey friends, I'm Stacy, and this is Gorgeously Aging, and today we're going to do a full face of Westman Atelier. Now I've had this collection for over a year, so I've gotten really good use out of it. So after using this for a year, I feel like I can tell you with confidence which are the best and worst of Westman Atelier. If you are brand new to my channel, a special welcome. I do hope you'll subscribe and join the Gorgeously Aging community. Now, if you've been with me for a while, this is a brand new channel. Unfortunately, my last Gorgeously Aging was attacked and terminated even though it was just a makeup, hair, and skincare channel. So do me a favor and check to see if you're subscribed if you intend to be. This is a brand new Gorgeously Aging Beauty channel. So if you've just stumbled across my channel, I am a 52-year-old mother of four, grandmother of three, and I am a passionate master in medical esthetician. I owned salon, spas, and permanent cosmetic studios my entire adult life. If you love all things beauty, skincare, and aging gorgeously from the inside out, you are in the right place. If you're looking for my advanced facial rejuvenation videos, just go to rumble.com and search gorgeously aging. You'll find everything there. All right, let's get into the best and worst of Westman Atelier. So first of all, everything by Westman Atelier is exquisitely packaged. I'm a sucker for beautiful packaging, really high quality, heavy weight, magnetic closure. All of those details impress me. But if the packaging is beautiful and what's inside doesn't perform, it really doesn't matter. So I'm going to tell you today that everything is gorgeously packaged, but there are some things in the Westman Atelier line that were lacking in my opinion. Now, the Vital Skin Foundation Stick, this is all I have left of it. So I have loved and used, and I'm going to dig down to that last little bit here for this makeup video. And I actually will repurchase this. This is a beautiful product. It has some coconut oil. It's gorgeous on the aging skin or any skin that doesn't want to look heavily made up. So I'm going to take my BK Beauty foundation brush. I've been getting a lot of use out of these BK Beauty brushes lately. They are so nice. And I'm just going to get that on the brush. And this just really melts into the skin so nicely. Now, the only thing I have on my skin now is my skincare. And then I have a light tinted sunscreen, and that's by Color Science called the Flex Tinted Sunscreen. If you're looking for a really beautiful sunscreen that has a tiny bit of tint, that is an absolutely incredible one. So I'm just taking my brush directly onto this. You can also just dab it on the skin. I feel like you get a more lightweight application when you take your brush to the foundation. I will list all the colors in the description box below, and this one is a yes for me and I'll definitely repurchase. Probably my favorite product in the whole Westman Atelier line is their Face Trace. This is their cream bronzer stick, and this is in the color Truffle. Again, exquisitely packaged. I'm gonna take that same BK Beauty brush and just go right into this Truffle. It blends in gorgeously, stays on nicely, and doesn't look heavy on the skin, which when you're over 40 or in my case over 50, that's important. And none of these products have an aroma really to them. I really don't smell anything and I appreciate that. I love products that aren't heavily fragranced. I think I will put just a little on my jawline just to contour the jaw a little bit. One of the things that I appreciate about the Westman Atelier line, aside from the quality and the packaging, is that it's really easy to apply. If you want a quick, easy application, I think these products are really designed for that. You can certainly use your fingers, you can use a brush, you can use a sponge. It's really easy, even if you just want to apply it directly from the tube. So this is the blush, and this is in the color Petal. And I'm going to use the same exact brush that I just used for the foundation and the bronzer. I'm going to keep this kind of high up. Back in the day, they used to teach you to do it on the apples of your cheeks, but if you're aging and you smile and you put it on your apples of your cheeks and then you're not smiling, the blush ends up kind of down here. So, so far, we are three for three as far as products that I highly recommend and will repurchase. So the foundation stick, the bronzer, and the blush. Now this one, although gorgeously packaged, it's called Lip Suede Les Nudes. And it's when it's brand new, it's several lines of different colors. And you could, if you want to use a small brush, just grab the color you want for your lips. I just mix them all together. And if I want it to be darker, I'll stay up towards the top where that dark color is. But today I'm just going to take my finger and mix it around. 
And although it's a good formula and I like the convenience of just using my finger, it's gorgeously packaged, but this one I will not purchase again. It's not bad, it's just not one I love enough to repurchase. Now you can see that I've gotten a lot of love out of this powder. Again, beautifully packaged. And I'm gonna take a fluffy powder brush. My daughter Abby really loves this one too. And I'm just going to give a little bit of powdering just to set down, especially in the T-zone. Now, I do really love this powder, but I think the powder by Clay de Peau, if you're looking for a luxury powder, is better than the Westman Atelier. This is a nice powder. I just don't think I'm going to buy it again because I have the Westman Atelier, and that the Westman Atelier would be my preference for powder over this one. It is beautiful, though, so if you are a fan of Westman Atelier, I don't think you'd be disappointed. Um, it just isn't my favorite powder of those two luxury brands. This is the Super Loaded Tinted Highlight. And I'm just going to take a little bit on my finger and apply it to the high point of my cheeks. Again, I'll list the colors down below. I really do like this highlight a lot. You can also use it as an eye shimmer. I'll just show you that if you like a cream shimmer on the eye, something very subtle. I am going to show you some eyeshadows though. This one I think is beautiful and I like the subtlety of the glow on the cheeks. I do think I would purchase this one again. The Bone Brow. You guys, I love this brow product. It is so easy to use. If you like a little bit thicker brow pencil that's in this shape, this formula is gorgeous. It does have a detachable brow spoolie. I have this in the shade Bark. I'm just going to show you how quick it is to fill in the brows. I kind of start towards the center. I save the, the front end for last. Typically, I change up my brow routine all the time. And then I'm just going to come in the front and just do a little bit here. I don't want as much in the front, so I'm going to take my spoolie and just brush it out. There's such a difference with just a little bit of brow product. So I think with something like this, it has a nice formula when you put it down, but it sets in and stays on quite well. It's just easy to put on quickly. This is definitely a brow pencil that I will purchase again. I have gotten such good use out of it. I absolutely love it. Another Westman Atelier face product that this one's a little dark for me for the winter season. And I think honestly, when I first purchased it, it was a little dark even when I had some color in the summer, even though I try not to get a tan. This is the Vital Skin Complexion Drops. I want to show you this because I love this product. I love the texture. It's just a little bit dark for me right now. Let me show you on my neck. It's so beautiful. I mean, it has this nice nourishing... You'll be able to see it's a little dark for me. But it goes on gorgeously. The skin looks so radiant. Well, you can see it on the back of my hand. It has a gorgeous radiance to it. A little bit of coverage without being heavy. I definitely want to get some of these in a color that's more of a match for me right now. All right, you guys, something that surprised me about Westman Atelier, and I have a few things that are total fails, so... I know I'm talking about the things that I've loved, but I've got some fails coming up very shortly. This bronzer stick is gorgeous, but I like to use it on my lips. And just wait till you see it. It does not look like you would think. This is called the Highlight Stick, and this is the color Brulee. I'm going to show you on my finger what it swatches like. So that's what it looks like on my finger. Or I'll give you a bigger swatch here. That's what it looks like on the back of my hand. So you could certainly tap it on your cheeks if you want to use it for what it was intended. I tend to use this one, but this is also gorgeous on the cheeks, but I love it on the lips. So it's extremely nourishing. It gives the lips a little bit of shine and just a hint of color over the top of the lip product that we put on previously. This one, because I can use it for a highlighter and for my lips, I'll definitely buy again. These last a long time though, you guys. Like I've had this whole collection for a year and I just now ran out of the foundation. I'm going to tell you two things I think are huge fails from Westman Atelier. If you're watching this video just for that, to save yourself some money, the mascara. I absolutely dislike. I don't want to say hate because that's a strong word, but I find the brush to be way too big and not separating enough. I have the tiniest lashes. Right now I'm wearing lash extensions, but the formula itself transfers and flakes a bit, and it just is not a good mascara. 
it's really unfortunate because like everything else, it's gorgeously packaged. So I do hope that they've come out with something since I purchased all this that's better. But this particular formula, not good at all. I'd have to say the same thing about this eyeliner pencil. This came in a set called I, I Love You, the I Love You set or something. It was around, maybe around Valentine's Day last year. It's creamy, it goes on nice, but I felt like it smudged. So I felt like it didn't set down nicely and maybe there's been improvements to that. But for me, the mascara and the eyeliner were both big fails. So let's just take a second to appreciate how incredibly cute and beautiful the packaging is for these little eyeshadow pods. The one disadvantage about these pods is unless you memorize like what color they're in, like your eyeshadows are in, you have to open each one up to see. So I'm going to open a few up that I like to use, but let me just show you a few of the colors. This one's champagne. This one is called mink. I cannot see the color name on this, but I will list it down below. Now these are all magnetic, so they stay together really nicely. So all the little details. This one is called Vin Rouge. This one is their black or noir. And this one is a beautiful gold called Fete. I did pick up the Westman Atelier eyeshadow brush. And although it's a very nice brush, I do have others that perform just as well that are much cheaper. So this I would not probably recommend. It doesn't do anything spectacular. If you really like to have an entire collection of stuff, you won't be disappointed in this brush. It's not a bad brush, but if you have other eyeshadow brushes that you like, you could definitely skip this brush. So I'm just going to keep this really simple and use this color Vin Rouge and go in with my Westman Atelier brush. It's kind of a creamier formula. It's not a cream, but it's not super powdery either. This has a little bit of a purple undertone. So I'm just going to get this above my crease and on my lid. And I will say this brush makes really quick work of that. And I'm just going to angle it up to try to lift that aging eye there. And then I'm going to take an angled brush and just go a little bit under the eye here. And this is that same color, that Vin Rouge. I like that this color is not just a simple brown. It just, it has that ever so slightest bit of plum undertone. I'm going to create a little bit of a soft wing. And let me tell you, if you're over 40, using eyeshadow for a little bit of a winged look is so much more forgiving than using a pencil. It just looks gorgeous and sophisticated, and I think if you try it, you'll really like it. I'm going to use that same pencil brush and this black, the Noir, and just get a little bit of the black on there. And I'm going to show you, I'm going to tight line with this almost as if it were an eyeliner, just right where my lash extensions grow out. Now, if you wanted a little darker corner of the eye or outer V, you could use a little bit of this to create an extra smokiness. Now for a day look, I'm gonna leave it like this. I am gonna take some of this light color here, and this is champagne on a small pencil brush, and just hit that inner corner. Just kind of brightens everything up. And for a daytime look, I think this is super easy, quick, nourishing for the skin, and daytime appropriate. So now I'm just going to add a few more things to amp it up for an evening look. So I'm going to go into the color Mink, which is a gorgeous shimmer. Let me show you how that swatches. And a little bit of a smaller brush. This again is from BK Beauty. Everything I'm showing you today, you guys, I purchased. None of it was sent to me. A flat brush would be great. I like the size of this brush, so I've been enjoying putting on shimmers with it. You could use your finger, which gives you more payoff. You get more pigmentation if you use your finger. And now I'm going to take another BK Beauty brush here and go back to the Noir. Just take a little bit on here. We're going to smoke out the corner just a little bit, make this more nighttime, sultry, I guess, something like that. A little more over 40 glam kind of look. Just focusing on the outer V here, lifting the eye a little bit. See the difference? Just a little amped up for evening. And staying above the natural crease will keep things lifted, especially if you have a hooded eye. If you stay down here in the crease, it kind of ends up disappearing. And then I'm going to take an angled brush, go into that noir, and just go into the corner. 
just deepen up that outer corner on the bottom. And you could do the same if you want to make the wing a little bit more deepened up for evening. And there you go, a full face of Westman Atelier for day into evening. I absolutely love this line. I don't really care much for the mascara and the eyeliner. I kind of have mixed feelings about the eyeshadow. The formula itself is fantastic. And although I really appreciate this packaging, I find it a little cumbersome to have to open up each individual iPod. So let me know if you've had that experience. I love the formula. I think they're beautiful. They're easy to use. The eyeshadow themselves are gorgeous, but I just don't necessarily like having to open up each pod. I do appreciate the packaging and that they are magnetic, but with so many incredible eyeshadow brands out there and formulas that I really love, namely Patrick Ta lately. And then there's always the Anastasia Beverly Hills palettes, which are spectacular and so many more. It makes me question if I'll repurchase any of these iPods. I do think if you haven't tried the Bone Brow, it's really great. There is a dupe, not an exact dupe, but close by e.l.f., but I really love this Westman Atelier. I'm glad that I have it. I do think I'd purchase it again. If you are on a budget, definitely look at the e.l.f. brow pencil because it's really good. It's similar in shape. It doesn't have a detachable brush, but it has a brush on the end. So very similar. Definitely the standouts in this line are the foundation. This bronzer stick is fantastic. It gets a lot of hype and it's well-deserved. Same thing with the blush. It gets a lot of hype, but it's so well-deserved. What are your favorites in the Westman Atelier line and what would you repurchase? I'd love to hear from you in the comments. Thank you so much for joining me today. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, I would love you to subscribe to the Gorgeously Aging community. Just hit that subscribe button and ring the bell for notifications. You can also find me on all socials. Just search at Gorgeously Aging and you will find me there. Thank you so much for sharing a piece of your day with me. I will see you in my next video. Be good to yourselves and to others. Mm -hmm.